Hello gamers. Today we're going to be opening some bargain bin mystery toys. Basically, GameStop had a deal where you could get a bunch of these mystery toys for like two bucks or less a piece. So I pulled out my little wallet and wasted more money. So here we are gamers. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was buying. I was really just buying. So yeah, I don't know what this stuff is. I'm sure it's mostly shit. Pain party pinatas. That's our first item, I guess. Yeah, it looks like these pinatas are, are just like have like crutches and like really not funny stuff. So let me see if I can open it. I just clipped my nails today. So Funko, like, yeah, it says, it says Funko right there. I don't know if that's like Funko Pops makes these. If that's the case, I would hope this is decent quality. Okay, we have, I'm sure just a sheet of paper. Okay, yeah, so we have like rarities here. Commons, super commons rares commons chase pieces and then uh their stupid names we have a little dog in the cone of shame is that what it's called his name's fetch is that his name fetch no his name's actually patches and he's just um regular old common i will say i wouldn't be surprised if this was funko it looks pretty good pretty decent build quality kind of heavy it reminds me of that party pinatas game from when i was like eight we have some of these crummy bag clips as well, not my like ideal mystery bag, but we'll give it a whack. Yes, Universal Retro Movies. I don't know how I can open this. There's, a, don't really think there's a, okay, beaver time. Holy, I got a whiff of the air that just came out of here as I bit it open. Does not smell or taste good. Uh, wow, what? Okay, so obviously E.T. for those, uncultured swine that don't know who et is but uh it's just horrible like i feel like i could just break it in half like i bet i could break it in half yeah he's a uh, finishing move Ooh. yeah see this is just garbage like, this is seriously just garbage and then a piece of paper I, I i assuming this is so you can't feel your beheaded et inside the packaging it does look like there's some exclusives, like it's exclusive dinosaur and uh, I don't know, T-Pose guy. They also sent me like random shiz that I did not buy. I did not buy Junji Ito collection. Here it is though, I'll open it. It's like, what is, this is just horrible. It's just horrible quality. What is this? Face in her hair, just, I could not care less. Now for why you guys clicked on this video. Yes, Among Us characters. I don't know if there's like a special one here. It is also a clip, but it's a plushie. So in my opinion, that is better. Among Us. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's it's not tons to see here. I, I think he's like an orange, orange Among Us character. Uh, I kind of want to get these stupid bags out of the way. Wow, do I have a knife? My teeth are not going to last super long. They'll be dull very quickly. If I keep doing this. Okay, let's see if I can get not ET. This one's really heavy. What? Jurassic Park brick. What is this? Hey, so I guess I do see it right there, but oh, it's a poster. This is supposed to be a poster. I will actually admit, I think it's better than E.T. It's just, uh, I don't know, I, I guess because it's a brick, they couldn't really mess it up. Yes, they actually did mess it up. It can't stand. Here, another random piece of garbage they sent me. I don't know why. I guess they just really don't want it. Yes, what is this, garbage pack, patch kids? Cabbage pack, I don't know, it, certified gross. I don't really see much gross about this. It's just like a kid with like a TV. Oh, it's TV Stevie. Is there anything to this? Or is this like just like a collectible set? There's like a story behind this, like a game or a show. We are now gonna open this toy mini brand. This is one of the ones I was a little bit more uh, excited about. I did like specifically and intentionally purchase this item. I like these little like mini things. So we'll, we'll see. So already off the bat, this is, it's double package. So that's something. And I see that there's, it looks kind of like the orange from Garden Warfare 2 for those that played that game. It's actually quite fantastic. I don't know how I open this. I think this little tab maybe. Oh yes. Okay. Oh. What in the, so I think these are each their own item, maybe? Don't know if I can just like pop through this or, okay. Oh yes, rainbow corns. Kinda hard to see that with my lens, it, it is quite mini. I mean, I feel like I've seen this at Walmart. Not, not like the most memorable thing, but you know, it's kinda cool.
I guess you get five in here, which is actually kind of a lot. Let's see if we can get something actually recognized. Oh, yo, okay, this is sick. Robo alive. And like, there's actually a little dinosaur toy in here. Sheesh, this is sick. Open it and get the dinosaur out. I, I'm sure I can, but I don't know if I really want to do that unless I get a double, because I actually like this. This is cool. Now, and a piece of paper came out. I, I think this will maybe give us some rarities or something. Oh, holy shit. This is just like a really long list. Clearly quite a few. Oh, yes. Okay, so I think this is the important stuff. Ultra rare. There's some things there. Super rare. Rare. Metallic. Common. Oh, and then, yeah, the commons, I think, continue throughout the back. So two commons in, I guess. I don't know if I love how this works. What is this? Yo! Cheating Mutant Ninja Turtles mask. What's this guy's name? Oh, it says it right there. Michelangelo. This is a pizza guy. The guy that freaking loves pizza. It's kind of weird sometimes, actually. Okay, I accidentally just ripped this off. It's a big one. I can feel something big in there. So it's just like a place to peel this. That would be a little bit more optimal. That looks kind of like a peel tab. Yo! Yeah, I don't really know this this show. I know it's on Nickel Nickelodeon. Nick Nickelodeon. Ren Stimmy, Bibby Bobby Stip Stimpy. Bobble Booty Stimpy. I don't really know what's going on. There he goes. Last of the mini toys. Fingerlings. He clutches onto your digits. Is this a toy? This is not a very cool toy. If that's all it does is just like clutch your finger. Kind of weird. Like half of the item is this like plastic packaging. And this is like thick plastic. Like higher quality than the E.T. figurine. This, this is orange. All right, guys, sorry for wasting your time. Back to Among Us. Yes, blue Among Us with the little hat. I know this is backpack, but it, it does kind of look like butt cheek. Just one big connected butt cheek. I don't want this. Doing surgery on Among Us. Ah, uh, isn't that much better? Among Us a plushie. That's all I need. Among Us plushie, Among Us plushie. I don't want this either. Like, how many tabs? Like, they got a full book on here, man. Okay, you're right. Cut away from myself. Finally, the perfect Among Us plushie. Pain party pinatas once again. Funko is making its comeback. This is this is gonna really be the the new the new hit thing for them. I don't really do Funko Pops do well. Like I know some garner some value. Okay, got an elephant here. I've just never really ugh, been into Funko Pops. I, I get like it's an artistic style to like make them all have humongous heads, but it just doesn't doesn't click with me super well. But like this is heavy. Like I could knock out my sister with this. Not that I would ever do that. Oh, he is a one in 18 chase piece. So not quite hyper rare, but not like bad. I'm never buying these bag clip things again. They're just horrible. I just don't like how they are. Ah, yes. The Jaws girl swimming in the water. Dang, it would've been so cool if they had like Jaws back here, like kind of like coming up about a biter. Like this is like so obscure. Like I don't know if you could put this on your bag and not have people think you're kind of weird. Not something I would use. All right, toy mini brands, here we go again. I kind of like that there's like, it feels like you're opening five like different distinct things, even though it's just one ball. Holy cow. They really don't want the toys falling out. I guess I can't blame them. Orange time. Let's see if we can not get a double. I think I have like three or four of these things. Dora! Dora the Explorer. This lady seriously deaf or something. As a kid, I remember watching it and being like, he's right there. Swiper is literally right there. She never listened, but I did learn Uno Dos Trace from her. So that's something. Okay, so this is coming apart. I can see it's a Jojo Siwa something or other. Yeah, I could have done without this. Oh, let's go. I know it's a double. I know the robot dinosaur alive is a double. That being said, let's open him up. This is like a quadruple unboxing. Uh, I'm trying to like see the best way to do this. Yeah, probably just rip it. I'd reckon is the best way. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's like attached. Not anymore. Tiny dinosaur alive. Unfortunately, does not maintain his ability to move at this scale. Not a bad figurine though. That was truly like the best double you could have asked for. My preferred double. What is this? Oh, it's a hula hoop. I, yeah, I gotta give him credit for, for trying. Next little toy that I can choke on and die. 
Washable glue. See, this is not a toy. This could actually kill somebody. Washable, yeah, I'm not reading that wrong. It's gonna be practically impossible for you to see this, but it does say washable glue on it. Does it open? Is there glue in it? That's a negative. Mini brands, again, they have uh, quite the t amount of different types that they do, mystery balls, mystery boxes, whatnot. I got curious after I bought these and was kind of looking at the, the company and was a little shocked. So I could see myself doing a little bit more of the mini brand stuff. It's kind of interesting. I don't like this double layer. Sorry, I had to throw all my garbage on the ground. Let's see here. Chipper. Oh, it's a little tiny robot dog. I've surely seen this. Cool. I do like how they stay pretty design accurate with the size, not the size of the box, rather the shape of it. Like Robo Alive box do be looking like this and Chipper's box, as far as I remember, do be looking like this. They're not all just like the same square. When I saw this one at first, you know, it's just literally a circle with a wrapper around it. I was a little worried about the quality. I no longer am. Okay, we got a little teapot. Itty bitty pretties. Drink up my pretties. You like that? You want some more? Oh, you don't want some more? Sorry, I didn't mean to washboard you there. Um, there is like a crummy sticker on the top. I'm pretty sure that this, along with this, they're actually like mystery boxes in and of themselves, which is uh, Inception, I guess. I feel like it'd be pretty easy to to not open all of these like and forget that you missed one. Okay, we, we got more fingerlings, but this is the narwhal rather than the unicorn. Is there a reason why they have horns? Can you draw with them or something? It lo turned it around and held it up to my eyes. I do not have bad vision, but this is just very tiny writing and it talks about, has a motion sensor and I think it like wags its tail or something. I don't know. Oh shoot, I'm about to, let me show. Yow, that hurt. Crayons. There's not any in here. I can already tell that it's this is an empty box, but I won't I won't destroy the integrity because I kind of like it. I, I accept crayons over Elmer's glue. Okay. Oh, no way, bro. Okay. So Rugrats, uh, there is a bug in here. I don't. You're not gonna. I'm gonna have to like take his picture or something. But there's like a smushed bug. I don't know. Surely that's not on purpose. It's like a mosquito. Am I gonna contract malaria because, oh, you. So it was on the outside, I touched it. Some of its legs came off. Very gross, fitting to be on the Rugrats, I guess. Where are these from? Where's this mosquito from? Am I going to get Ebola? Last Among Us character. Yes, pink with the bucket hat. Uh, I think we'll also give him the, the treatment. We'll fix him. Man, he's uh, resisting. Kind of hard to do it with the camera in front of me, not gonna lie. Also, the incredibly dull knife I picked off the side of the road doesn't help. <sighs> yes, garage doors only. Not my number. Sorry if that number is still active and you now get calls because of me. We're down to our last couple. We got a last party pinata, pain, whatever it's called. 2021, it says on there. Kind of old at this point. Been trying to sell these suckers for a minute. No wonder it was on clearance. It just seems like kind of odd, you know, to do a mystery box of something that nobody cares about. Are you kidding me? Or should I keep him sealed for value? Yeah, just kidding. I will actually try to price some of these items, though I'm sure there's not many sales and it's probably worth like a buck. I don't know. Last orb of the day. Alrighty, here we go. Orange opened and ready to show me its fruit. The Jojo Siwa, what is it called? A bow? Forgot that word for a second. Nickelodeon slime, yes! It's the slime station. A lot of these toys have slime in them nowadays. I'm thankful I don't have to deal with that this episode. Ugh. This thing again. Oh wait, no, it's actually different. Rainbow corns. Sweet and sweet shake surprise, yep. Uh, I wonder if there's like a good way to display this kind of stuff. It's not gonna look very great on my desk, I don't think. Robo Alive snake version. Okay, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I move like a real snake, touch my tongue. Oh, uh, that's kind of weird. Actually, wait, what? Is, the thing say that, it says my tongue flicks out. Well, I'm weird. Last little thing. Are you kidding me, hula hoop? That's what I have to end on? We have our freaking garbage pile here. Don't leave yet though, it's time for Torque Magic Pack. Going to this guy. Uh, we have um a three times bounty today, so, you know, Things are looking decent. Good chance there's a little something for you. Duosion. Wow, this is like so much easier to 
flick through these things and open that, those random toys. Armaldo. During the Pro Week, GameStop also had a couple pretty decent deals on Pokemon cards, so I'll probably do a video on that coming up here at some point. We'll see. Venomoth. Weird outfit, dude. Oh, I'm about to be happy. Nope, last pack. Let's see if we can get you something. If not, got bad luck, dude. You're gonna have a bad week because of this moment. Wow, I'm getting crummy with these cards. Ferrothorn, that's kind of an interesting art. It looks like the shots from Cuphead, actually, is what that reminds me of. I've been playing that recently. Fun game, hard game. Ugh. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Bye, gamer.